country, several inches of snow, some mm. whiteout conditions earlier this morning, and now the backside of the storm <laughs> is going to get really chilly for this weekend. So this is kind of your early heads up to kind of bundle up because we're probably going to have some freeze warnings here inside the valley in the metropolitan area by about Tuesday of next week. Uh, shouldn't cancel out any of your weekend plans, but it's definitely going to affect them. You're going to want to layer up your clothing. There's a live look outside at a nice little dusting of snow uh, in the Sedona Red Rocks. Let's talk about those storm totals. You can read them along with me. Williams at nine inches. That was just north uh, of the city there. Snowball at eight inches. Kachina, Village, Seligman, Forest Lakes all at seven. Six inches in Flagstaff at the airport, about four to five inches downtown. And uh, over in the White Mountains, not bad at all. Uh, three inches in Prescott. Payson at 2.5. Dewey Humble at one. And Sholo at one inch. But I think they might get a little bit more a little bit later on tonight. So now the after effects is a lot of cold air behind this storm. Still that winter storm advisory just expired for the northeastern part of the state. But down to the south of us, south of the 202, you folks in Queen Creek, guess what? You're under freeze warning along with everyone south of you. Sacatone, Maricopa, Casa Grande, Coolidge, Florence, Stanfield. You're under that freeze warning tonight at midnight through tomorrow morning. That's just the beginning. We'll let you know why we're going to first alert for Tuesday of next week. Give you plenty of time to get ready for some cool temperatures throughout the weekend and early next week. Forecast coming up. All right, scene. thanks very much. Now to our other top story at 6 o'clock. A family south of the valley heartbroken as police search for the gunman who killed a 14-year-old girl during a drive-by. She was sleeping in the living room when she was shot in the head. Jason Barry has the latest from Coolidge. A bullet hole here, a bullet hole there. More than 40 shots were fired at this Coolidge home during a drive-by shooting that killed a teenage girl. Tonight, the big question everyone around here is asking is why. A sweet, outgoing, friendly teenage girl. That's how loved ones describe 14-year-old Micah Crawford, who was gunned down in her own home Thursday morning. Police tell us someone drove into this quiet Coolidge neighborhood just after midnight, then opened fire on this house with Micah, her younger sister, a family friend, and mom asleep inside. You can see all the bullet holes in the front window and another on the front door. We're told Micah was sleeping in the living room when she was shot in the head. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where she later died. Her family is absolutely devastated. Like when people say, how you doing? You, you honestly can't answer because we don't know how we're doing. From day to, from uh, Every hour is different. One minute we reminiscing and we watching videos. Next minute everybody breaking down like this. 14. And it's a baby. So that takes a different mindset of a different person, a different monster. To shoot inside of a house blindly, that's not target practice. This is you not caring who's inside, who's behind those walls, those windows. You don't care. That's a monster. That's not a functioning human being. It's unclear exactly why this home was targeted and if the shooter knew the victims. So far, no arrests have been made, but police believe they have found the car used in the drive-by shooting. A blue-colored Kia sedan that had been stolen from Eloy was found abandoned in Gilbert a few hours later. Right now, detectives are asking anyone with information about this drive-by killing to call the Coolidge Police Department immediately. In Coolidge, Jason Barry for Arizona's family. This is some body camera video here from October when a man was shot and killed by Phoenix police. They say Ali Osman wouldn't stop throwing rocks at them near 19th Avenue and Northern. Well, tonight his toxicology report is out and it shows both meth and cocaine in Osman's system when he was killed. Osman's family was planning on filing a wrongful death lawsuit. Police just arrested a teenager for having a gun at Casa Grande Union High School. Detectives say 18-year-old Kyron Antone is a senior there. Someone tipped off officials that he had a gun in his backpack, so administrators pulled him out of class, got the backpack, and called police. Officers found a Glock with an extended magazine and ammunition, but no evidence that he'd made any threats. He is now booked on charges of weapons misconduct.
New today, death row executions are on hold across Arizona. Governor Katie Hobbs issuing an executive order today appointing a commissioner to review protocols for death row inmates. Executions just resumed last year with three men put to death after the procedure was put on hold in 2014. You might recall a series of executions put Arizona in the national spotlight when it took multiple injections and much longer than it should have for those inmates to die. And tonight, a story you will only see on Arizona's family. Our investigative team discovered Governor Hobbs appears to be ready to expand a controversial immigration policy Governor Ducey was widely criticized for. We are talking about shipping migrants out of Arizona, out of state. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe here. Morgan, how is the new governor expanding this program. This is a brand new contract with the company that was used to bus migrants out of the state and according to this contract Governor Hobbs wants to start flying them to their destinations. Now Republican governors in some other states have done this and the move was met with criticism from migrant activists. But today Hobbs gave a rough outline for her plan and it is different from what is happening in the other Republican led states. Governor Doug Ducey started sending migrants from Yuma to Washington, D.C. Critics called it a political stunt. That contract ended at the end of last year, but we found the new contract that went into effect last Saturday. It calls for buses and a 737 aircraft that would carry up to 150 migrants at a time. Now, the difference here is that while Ducey sent everyone to Washington, D.C., Hobbs says she wants to send the migrants where they want to go. I think we need to look at that practice and make sure that it's effective. Um, it's, it's something that provides support to those local communities. If we're spending the money to bus people, why not just get them to their final destination? The new contract did not contain any specific pricing. Under the Ducey contract, the company charged as much as $83,000 per trip. Now today, Hobbs also said that she's looking at what to do with the containers that Ducey sent to the border. Before he left office, he agreed to remove them, but the state owns them. One idea floated today was to turn the containers into housing for the homeless. Well, that whole plan cost taxpayers millions of dollars. And yeah. speaking of money, uh, where does Governor Hobbs think she's going to get the money to start flying migrants out of state? Where's that going to come from? We don't have the exact details at this point, but last year the state legislature approved $564 million for border security, and Ducey used $200 million of that for the container fence. The money for the buses and planes would likely come from that fund. Continue following the dollars, I guess, in the months. Yes, yeah, lots ahead. of them. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding, Thanks, Morgan. Morgan. Thank you. And the fact that he's doing these political stunts and he's doing gamesmanship with people's lives. There is water. We just have to be able to augment it and be able to sit down and have adult conversations. Fighting over water, it is getting heated. 500 families north of the valley are desperate to keep their taps from running dry. Well, tonight there is a new short-term proposal to get that water flowing again, but as David Caltabiano found, it's far from a done deal. Today, Representative David Cook introduced a short-term plan to Scottsdale officials that would bring water to Rio Verde foothills without using a drop of Scottsdale's water supply. Representative David Cook's new proposal includes using water from the Gila River Indian community, paying Scottsdale to run it through their infrastructure to the people who need it in Rio Verde foothills. For years, the city of Scottsdale warned they cut off the water, a decision triggered by their drought management plan. Before the 2023 deadline passed, the unincorporated community proposed a domestic water improvement project to solve the problem. But the majority of the community wasn't on board. It was struck down by the Board of Supervisors. Representative Cook believes his short-term plan will work, and it is not kicking the can down the road for a permanent solution. So far, the city of Scottsdale has not responded to Arizona's family about the proposal. We need to get these written agreements in place. Then that way, we can move forward to the long-term solution was getting someone to service that area and as Scottsdale said they wanted, get out of the water business. We need to get a utility company that is in that area to where it's all of a sudden 
their responsibility for supplying that water to those people. There's a docket that's open. They're having a hearing as we stand here at the Corporation Commission to move that plan forward. And if Scottsdale officials agree with the plan, then it'll be brought in front of City Council, where it'll need four out of seven votes to pass. We will surely keep you updated as soon as we learn more about the proposal. In Scottsdale, David Coltiviano for Arizona's Family. Pro-life advocates marking the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade, how they shifted the focus of their annual march today following new restrictions in Arizona and other states. And we might be one step closer to the Suns having a new owner with a new buyer spotted at last night's game. Many people think that all injury lawyers are the same, that their outcome is the same, the experience is the same. It's just not true. Hi, I'm Mark Breyer. And I'm Alexis Breyer. The injury lawyer you hire does matter. Call the husband and wife law team first. Unemployed, in today's market, how do your retirement accounts stack up? Having a clear retirement plan can provide you clarity for your financial future. Fullerton Financial Planning, where retirement dreams begin. Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The Buick Envision, built around you, all of you. Get 3.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Buick SUV models. Some stores have some appliances, but Spencer's is appliances. That's all we do. We're passionate about giving you the very best Frigidaire products and always at a lower price. We know every time you walk through our doors, even though we've been in the Valley for over 50 years, we prove every day we have lower prices, a better selection, and better service than anyone else. Spencer's is an employee-owned company with over 25,000 five-star reviews. Spencer's is appliances. That's all we do. And it's like having a friend in the business. When the weather hits, your first alert weather team is there with Storm Commander. No matter the weather, no matter the season. In the valley and across the state, Storm Commander's taking you to the front line. Sponsored by Lions Roofing. And only on Arizona's Family. You get your jury summons, you show up in court, and who's there in court actually fighting for their clients? The husband and wife law team. The insurance company, they know which lawyers fight. Visit us at husbandandwifelawteam.com. Next Jeopardy after his first emotional win. My mom passed away recently, and oh, this was a huge dream of ours, too. And <laughs> Can our new champ continue in his mother's honor? Next Jeopardy. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on 3TV. AZ Family's First Alert Weather app is now available on your phone. Just grab your phone, visit your app store, and download it for free. Together, we lead the way to a society that truly empowers women and promotes life. Pro-life advocates and politicians rallying at the nation's capital today. It is the first March for Life since Roe v. Wade was overturned, sending abortion rights back to the states to decide. Derek Stahl's in our newsroom with more on the march there, plus local reaction in Arizona. Derek? Well, activists picked today for this event because this weekend marks 50 years from the Supreme Court's initial decision on Roe versus Wade, which established federal protections for abortion that no longer exist. Typically, this march used to end at the Supreme Court in a symbolic plea to the justices to overturn Roe. But since they've accomplished that, this year, pro-lifers marched all the way to the U.S. Capitol. Some advocates want to see more restrictions on abortion at the federal level. Republican House Majority Leader Steve Scalise says Congress should legislate on top of the Supreme Court decision. In fact, the House has passed two measures in the last week, but both of these are virtually guaranteed to fail in the Democratic-controlled Senate. It's not just here in Washington, it's back home in your states, in your communities. This fight continues because of what's at stake. I can't thank you enough for continuing this fight, for being willing as a young person to stand up for life. Now, on Sunday, there's going to be another march with supporters of abortion in Washington. Right now in Arizona, abortions are illegal after 15 weeks of pregnancy. A state appeals court ruled that law, which was passed last year, is now in effect post-Roe and not a near-total abortion ban, which was written before the Civil War. I want to share with you all that the hours, the days, the weeks and the months since the fall of 
Roe versus Wade have been the most exhausting, bewildering, and upsetting of my career as a physician who is dedicated to caring for women and pregnant people, and particularly for caring for those needing abortion services. New Attorney General Chris Mays and Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs have both promised to fight for reproductive freedom, but to pass any protections at the statewide level here in Arizona, they will have to get Republican lawmakers to buy in. Nicole? Derek, thank you. We have been waiting to hear when the struggling sons might have a new owner. And last night, there was a special sighting at the Footprint Center. Here is Mark McClune. Well, for a few weeks now, we've been hearing that Matt Ishbia's purchase of the Phoenix Suns is getting close, and it certainly looks like it's getting close to finished at Thursday night's win over the Nets. Our camera's capturing Ishbia sitting courtside with acting Governor Sam Garvin. It's his first public appearance since it was announced that Ishbia would reportedly purchase the Suns for $4 billion. Now, it's not final, but Ishbia was actually at the Suns facility on Friday morning and spoke with the team. I think it's great for the team, the organization, and the community to, to have someone like Matt in place, to have him courtside probably allows for everybody to, you know, finally put a face to ev everything that's been talk talked about and, and what hasn't happened officially, but it, it kind of lets everybody know, like, okay, this is, this is our guy. I got a chance to meet him today for the first time briefly. And um, it, it was short, but everything that I've heard about Matt and his family and, and the way he runs his business, it's been um, pretty cool to hear all that. So getting a chance to talk to him today was, was something I had been looking forward to. Yeah, breath of fresh air for the Suns. The other big storyline in the win, the return of Cam Johnson playing in his first game since tearing his meniscus, meniscus on November 4th. He scored 19 points in 22 minutes. He was only supposed to play 16 minutes, but went over that and made two huge defensive plays down the stretch. Next up for the Suns, the Indiana Pacers on Saturday, and we are looking forward to hearing from the Suns' new owner at some point. I'm Mark McClune for Arizona's Family. Thanks, Mark. Well, the fresh snow might entice a lot of people to head up north to the mountains this weekend to go check it out. Yeah, tonight, first responders, however, reminding you to be extra careful. Coconino County deputies have had their hands very full with people parking their cars mm -hmm. along the highway to get out and see the snow. There are much safer places to do that. Try pulling off onto a side road, at least. Deputies are issuing tickets. Of course, a fine for a couple hundred dollars could be the least of your worries. Worst case scenario, somebody's going to walk into that roadway. Uh, we've even had instances where people were sledding along these areas and the sled would continue out into the roadway. So we try to enforce it, make sure we move them along and tell them, uh, hopefully we don't have to give them a citation, but we move them along and tell them of safe locations they can go. Yeah, they've had their hands pretty full with search and rescues as well. So make sure you're prepared, have chains and a GPS that's working if you're going off the beaten path. We've been talking a lot about Flagstaff, but seeing it's been snowing pretty hard across the high country, including over at Sunrise, right? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Scotty's uh, view out the window as they're heading to Sunrise early this morning. They sent this to April on uh, Good Morning Arizona. I mean, there's the conditions there in the White Mountains. So we had another round of snow throughout the high country. Country. The good news, it looks like that's tapering off. Uh, maybe some more flurries for the far eastern part of our state overnight tonight, and then it should be pretty much done by early, early tomorrow morning. Outside right now, on your Friday night, you made it to the weekend. 54 degrees, winds out of the west at 8. Look for the dew point and humidity levels to really start to drop over the weekend. We're going to start to dry out. Yeah, it's been cool. Let's just say it. It's been chilly actually 10 degrees below average with our high today of 58 and that's seven straight days in a row below average here's the good news we've had five measurable days of rain this month and we are way above average for the rainfall so we'll keep that number coming it is going to get cold however tomorrow morning especially south of the 202 there's your local neighborhood lows and let me show you we've got a freeze warning in effect for you folks south of the 202 that includes most of if not all of queen creek sun lake sacatone stanfield blackwater all the way down to florence and coolidge that's for tomorrow morning and again on sunday morning and then there's some hard freeze warnings all the way over in quartzite bouse uh, uh over there in the western part of the uh, state Hard freeze warning Saturday and Sunday, most of Pinal County or the rest of Pinal County and Pima County. That means 
26 degrees, 28 degrees. You're going to have to bring in your pets, cover your uh, tender plants and uh, expose pipes. There's your flurries moving out to the east. But here's another storm on its way. And this one's coming directly from the Gulf of Alaska. This one's cold, not going to get here until about Sunday night. So Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon looks sunny and crisp outside. You see that counterclockwise swirl by Monday early morning. We'll have another shot at some snow, but what it really means is a lot of cold air coming in behind that uh, storm. That's really going to drop our temperatures. There's a look throughout the region tomorrow, and here's your first alert seven day forecast. Cold mornings ahead, and yes, we're going to first alert. We're expecting a freeze warning for the vast majority of the valley. Might not be all of the valley, but the vast majority of the valley Tuesday morning, 35 at Sky Harbor. So that means bundle up the kids, layer them up because it's going to be cold cold at the bus stop in the mornings, but mid 60s by Friday of next week. Oh Thank you, Scene. Boy, we are getting ready for Pat's run and we hope you'll join us in Tempe Saturday, April 15th, honoring Pat Tillman's legacy and supporting our amazing military families. You can find a link to sign up now for that 4.2 mile walk or run on our website, azfamily.com. A new way to select and buy an RV or adventure van has arrived. La Mesa and RecVan present Arizona's largest indoor climate-controlled showroom. Find your new RV or adventure van at La Mesa and RecVan. 72 Sold is a new, better way to sell your home. And it's got people talking. This is the best thing for a homeowner that I've ever seen. We actually got more. $20,000 more. I would recommend... 72 sold to my grandmother because it's a phenomenal experience like nothing you've ever done with real estate. It's fast, it's easy, and it all starts online. Just put in your address and get a higher price for your home today only at 72sold.com. Some people like to talk in the microphones. We prefer dropping them. MDX Type S, a new era of premium performance. Momentum keeps us moving, keeps us flowing toward progress. The advancements being made today will power our communities of tomorrow. At SRP, we're not waiting for tomorrow. We're researching and investing in technologies that make our neighborhoods and everyday lives more sustainable. Developing solutions that help every generation. That's moving forward together. Medical malpractice, nursing home or birth injuries, dog bite, slip fall or burns, auto truck or motorcycle injuries, all injury cases, call me now, attorney Adam Davis. Call Adam Davis. A new way to select and buy an RV or adventure van has arrived. La Mesa and RecVan present Arizona's largest indoor climate-controlled showroom. Find your new RV or adventure van at La Mesa and RecVan. Do you know Tucker? Tucker Hill AC Plumbing and Electric. Time for Tucker.com. Our crews just arrived at the scene of some breaking news. Uh, first alarm fire here. This is a restaurant or was a restaurant near the airport near 24th Street in Washington. A live look from our crew there on the scene. We don't know much about this or whether it was still operating. It might have been an old Carl's Jr. based on the map. Uh, but now the firefighters seem to have the flames out for the most part. They'll get in there, try and figure out how this started. The intersection, 24th and Washington, is going to be closed in all directions for a while. We are coming up on 6.30. Here's a quick check of your Friday night stories on our AZ Family News app. Police confirming late today a woman was killed in a shooting that briefly forced the lockdown of schools and neighborhoods near Arizona Avenue and Pecos in Chandler. Officers arrested 40-year-old James Taylor around noon. Nothing more yet on the possible motive or circumstance.
The Tempe Police Department just named an interim chief. The assistant chief, Josie Montenegro, will take over as Chief Jeff Glover becomes the new director of DPS. As part of Tempe's national search for a permanent chief, police employees and community members will be able to meet and ask questions of all the candidates at forums in March. Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego plans to run for Kirsten Sinema's Senate seat. Fellow Democrats have been pushing for him to primary her next year. And then you'll recall she changed parties, switching to independent. Gallego now expected to make the official announcement Monday after fellow Democratic Congressman Greg Stanton just confirmed he would not be going for that Senate seat. Egg prices still high after a wave of the bird flu wiped out flocks in parts of the country. Eight bucks a dozen in some stores as people again considering cutting out the middleman and trying to raise their own chickens. Inspire Farms in Mesa is actually selling beginner kits, which can help you get started if you're interested. But even they say there's a lot to consider before building your chicken coop, like whether it's legal in the city where you live and if you live in an HOA, if it's okay with the HOA. Different breeds of chickens produce different amounts of eggs, so read up on that as well. Nicole's smiling at me. We have a link on our website if you'd like to check out the kits or learn more from Inspire Farms. Head to azfamily.com. It's in the Scene on TV tab up My top. My clerk at the Safeway was like, it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> it sure is. Hey, we'll see you with the day's top stories next at 6.30 on CBS 5. AZFamily.com, powered by 3TV and CBS5. Brought to you by the Arizona Window and Door Store. Visit us online for our lowest prices of the year. Thanks for watching Arizona's Family. Watch us live wherever you are. Our mobile and streaming news app. You can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, and Android TV. Subscribe on YouTube for live breaking news and video on demand. Next, E.T. Is it going to be a full-fledged tour? There'll be a full-on fight. <laughs> no, I'm joking. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one with Mel B. Breaking Spice Girls news to us. Next, E.T. Tonight at 6.30 on Arizona's Family 3 TV. With the Fry's VIP card, it's easy to get lower than low prices. For the win, earn fuel points on every purchase and save up to a dollar a gallon at the pump. <laughs> With Fry's Fuel Points, all you do is win big, big savings. Fry's, fresh for everyone. The scientists and engineers that support the next mission to Mars could be in this class. Getting a degree at ASU is a journey that can take you anywhere. Into a world of groundbreaking technology and renowned award-winning faculty. Professors who help you to impact the world. Whether you're on campus or at home. Becoming your best starts with learning from the best. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Toyota's gonna give you peace of mind. No cost maintenance for routine repair. And roadside assistance with Toyota Care. Get peace of mind with Toyota Care. Seatbelt sign. Right. Right now, get low 3.99% financing for 48 months on Toyota Camry, Corolla, and RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. Talking Stick Resort Super Zona Weekend, featuring Steve Aoki. Shaq's Fun House with Snoop Dogg, Diplo, and DJ Diesel. Gronk Beach with 21 Savage, Diplo, and Little John. Sports Illustrated, The Party with Machine Gun Kelly and the Chainsmokers. And don't miss our Super Sunday Watch Party with Bo Jackson and Doug Flutie. Super Zona at Talking Stick Resort. How are you getting ready for the game? With house calls, we meet patients wherever they live. Hi! Hi. <laughs> How are you? Jack's blood pressure was dangerously high. So I contacted his doctor and sent him to the ER. My Widowmaker was 97% stopped up. But you're good now. I'm real good now. <laughs> United Healthcare House Calls provide free, comprehensive exams from a nurse practitioner with follow-up to address any health issues. Home sellers, the market has changed. To get top dollar, you need a market expert like never before. I'm Russell Shaw with Realty One Group. Whether you want a cash offer or full marketing for maximum profit, we give you every option. Top dollar, fast sale, flexible fees, and cash options. 44 years of real market knowledge and honest answers to your questions. I'm applying for a job. I want to be your realtor. 602-957-7777. With the Fry's app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you'd get in our stores. 
So start your cart today. Whenever, wherever. Fries, fresh for everyone. Tonight, E.T. is in Memphis as the Presley family prepares to say their final goodbyes at Graceland to Lisa Marie. How Elvis's home is being changed to bury his daughter. It's like, this is your life, and all in one room. Plus, Lisa Marie's eldest breaks her silence on her mom's passing. Then, remembering David Crosby, never before seen interviews revealed. I just love what I do, man. I love playing music. And what's next for Alec Baldwin after being charged with involuntary manslaughter? There's only one question to ask here. How he